Hi everybody, I am Alessandro Boncio from RenderKing.it and today I want to show you a new great tutorial. This tutorial is number 24 and this is the preview. As you can see we have some lines that born from an emitter and then go to create some letters. Yes, it's a really cool effect you can use as logo reveal or text reveal. Okay, perfect. This is the project you can download from my site renderking.it and now we have to start to make a new one. Okay, let's start. First of all you have to put one plane and one leather. Okay, I choose R for example, change font, okay, um, a rounded one, where is Gotham, Gotham, perfect, not light, yes, this one, black, it's okay, change view, and go to create a square basic font. Okay. It's alright. Perfect for me. If you want, you can make it bigger. Okay. Then scale down our emitter and go to put inside the leather where you want. It's not really important where you put make your emitter editable press C double click emitter is the name all right okay now we have to shut down close the our letter perfect okay now put a null object into to the scene select null object select tag sigma 4d tags and select express okay enlarge okay now go to search the express thinking particle preset we have in cinema 4d okay I open all to show you all thinking particle preset all right first of all we need a p born common p born and place here then we need a p group and then a p group all right here then a p surface is our emitter surface position and then p set data p set data I don't remember where it is P set data okay and now go to link this object particle birth to group then now we we have to go to create some groups particle birth to surface position then select surface position and drag emitter as surface position and you can choose vertex for example to create our particle then go to emitter and choose the position and now to particle oh sorry and go to particle birth all right now we have to you have created the first we create the first emitter of particles perfect now go to simulate thinking particle thinking particle settings and select all right click and add this is the first group group one 
and you can choose any color you want. Now select P-Born and go to birthday type and select shot. Now life. Life is very important and then we we have to change leather. Alright, now second step we need a P pass. A P pass. Where is P pass? It's the first. Okay. And then we need a pH that uh, set the, the the age of the particles. When the particles die, when these particles die, we create new particles. Then go select pH and choose die and when this particle we have to create when this dies and when dies you can choose dies after one frame now p get data p get data Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, I don't find it. Oh, shit. Where is Piggy? Oh, sorry. Piggy did okay and choose here position really important and now the most important preset we have here storm okay the generator thinking particle generator storm generator and now we have to do some changes uh, for example birth type short then how many particle we have to create two for example the particle life we can set 200 and then we have to create change of 200 here speed 100 it's okay x 360 360 and then x side and y sides zero okay now we have to make some links we have to link all particles here and here and then position on emitter position okay and then on we have to choose on all right perfect control double click to enlarge our box now we have to create another group so old on con old control drag here and link particle birth but we need to create a new group simulate thinking particle settings right click add new group is uh, white okay white one and then drag and drop here group 2 all right then let's see what's happened all right our particles go goes around perfect now we have to make a use a deflector to make our particle bouncing around all right stop go back and then we need another p pass perfect we need a deflector so deflector where is it? yes deflector all right and then another group so drag and drop here a group make links all right All right, and then we have to 
link our deflector on event on and now we have to set the deflector then the deflector is our text so we can make a copy or a safe copy and then we have to make it editable press C select all press C again here select all and then connect object and delete this is deflector select our deflector box in the express editor and then drag here what kind of deflector is is an object deflector and what uh, kind of collision two side collision okay this is the first no oh, sorry we need another group because when the parts uh, these particles collide into deflector change colors and creating so we have to creating another kind of particles so right click add change color for example green and go to drag and drop here that means when the the particle group to bouncing on deflector changing particle group three let's go to C switch off aim uh, uh, sorry switch off deflector and press play okay you can see particle white that bounce in in our deflector and go to create particle green now we have to uh, make particle greens that stays inside our deflector and it's really simple to create you have to select the group click control and drag now we have to create another group can change color for example blue and change groups group 3 on the first B pass and group 2 <coughs> on particle group <coughs> sorry then go to make a preview all right really cool now you can see also green particle that stays inside the our our deflector okay last one really simple make the same thing click control and then drag but here we have to make a changes drag group 4 into the first p pass in this case we can see all particles oh sorry uh, yes particle 4 inside here okay now we can see all particles that stays inside the R and we can see our letter all right if you want more particle you can go on P storm and going to create three or four or five particles for our leather okay really cool perfect now we need to see the trace of the particles and we need our shadow higher material okay first of all we, we have to set the color first color is white we can switch off specular and then go to thickness and change to 0 0.2 and a 0 0.2 oh, now our line is a smaller okay we have to we have set it in in the editor tracer Trace, go to trace link and drop inside 
first group group 2 go to limit from hand and you can choose a value like 25 then drag your material on the tracer yeah, you can duplicate tracer go inside and change group 3 3 is green duplicate material go to color and choose color green and put green here then you can duplicate again choose group 4 delete group 3 duplicate material and change color exactly and put color here let's see the effect all right as you can see your leather is created render all right really cool it's really simple if you want to change color you can change color here for example we can create a purple R okay do you think it, I think it's too much particle are created and I choose two two is better all right play all right really cool really simple as you can see I hope you like this tutorial and see you soon with the next one on renderking.it. Bye bye!